Alright guys, as promised, we did 19.3 here this afternoon, and now let's talk about my time, my paces, what I did, what I thought I did right, what I thought I did wrong, what I would change if I redid it, and you know, all the stuff in between. Let's get started. So let's talk about each movement. There's four movements. Let's talk about each of them separately and talk about the paces that go with them. First up is the 200 foot um, single arm overhead walking lunge. I'm just gonna put letters. You get the point, okay? It took me one minute and uh, 37 seconds to finish those eight 25 foot lengths, right? So that comes out to approximately be 12 seconds per 25 foot. Um, I did, I rotated my arms one time. So I did, if we're talking, I didn't rotate my arms at the 25 foot mark, I would rotate at the 50 foot mark. So I did 50 feet with my right, 50 feet again with my right, 50 feet again with my right, and then I switched and did 50 foot with my left. Honestly, if you went right from this into your handstand push-ups, I might advise switching it up more because it gives you maybe one arm a little more or rest the other, but you have a, like two minutes worth of box step up, so it should be enough time to recover from your shoulders. Um, I did right, 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 left. My left arm isn't as great as my right. I'm right hand dominant. That's the reason behind it. Okay, so that is the step ups. Took me 137, so let's keep that up here, right? So, um, so that's a lunge. So lunge took me 137, we'll keep that up there, okay? Next up, we've got the dumbbell single arm step ups, right? Uh, 50 of them. To be honest, uh, I was snatching on Wednesday and my knee kind of went wonky on me and it swelled up pretty good. And so I spent yesterday at the PT getting it, you know, worked on and half the day today in a uh, knee sleeve. So. I didn't feel, it actually hurt. I didn't feel super comfortable lunging. And I didn't feel comfortable at all doing dumbbell box step ups. So um, take with a grain of salt. We'll talk about it more at the end um, because of the inflammation, I was eating ibuprofen and wearing a knee sleeve during it and it still hurt. Okay, so it took me two minutes and 18 seconds to do the 50, okay? Um, I think in my previous video, I mentioned somewhere between 220 to 230 right on the money, right? We're looking right here, 220, 230, 218. Um, more in depth from the 218, it, if you break it out, it took me 13 seconds to do five, right? If you wanna break it down more, five reps. So one, two, three, four, five, took me 13 seconds. And if you look at the 10 rep mark, obviously it took me 27 seconds approximately to do 10 reps. So, you know, if you multiply this by five, you get some just pretty close to this. Um, Pretty close on the money. Um, in terms of holding the dumbbell, um, I started out on my neck, on my back of my neck, with like one hand on it. It didn't feel comfortable. I just didn't like it. it. It pulled my center of mass back. So in order to protect my right knee, because I didn't want to put a whole lot of weight on it, I took that 50 pound dumbbell and moved it over to my left shoulder and held it here for pretty much like 30 to 40 reps. I started here, moved it here to keep it away from my knee, and it was fine. It wasn't super hard. Um, it kind of, honestly, the 50 box, single arm box step ups was annoying, if we're being real with ourselves. It was just really annoyingly long, okay? So, uh, box step ups took me, like I mentioned, 218. So keep that up there. Cumulative time, I didn't, oh, 359. So cumulative time, I'm right now, I'm at 359 on the clock, okay? Okay, next up, we've got the meat and bones of, hand stand, how do you spell it? The meat and bones of the workout. Sure can't stand push-ups, right? Uh, like I mentioned in my previous video, I decided to do fives and I stuck to it. Fives all the way through. So I did, what is that? 10 sets of five? 10 sets of five? Quick math, quick math. 10 sets of five, okay? So I did 10 by five for this whole workout. I didn't, you know, when I got the wall from our first set, I did five, I was like, man, that feels really good. I should do more. I told myself, no, don't do any more. Don't fall into that trap. Don't give in and do 10 or 15 because you're going to die later. So I did fives all the way through. This total time, it took me 2.09 to do all 50 strict handstand push-ups, right? Okay? And that breaks out to be, essentially, that breaks out to be 12 seconds per five reps, okay? So my 10 sets there pretty much comes out to be 12 seconds. So I'd knock out a quick set, you know, stand up, shake it out, maybe chalk. Get right back to it, doing sets of five, okay? Pretty easy, 209. So, let's put it on the top. Strip handstand push-ups. 
209 for our total time and a cumulative time of 619. Okay? Move along, move it along. Last up, we've got the infamous handstand walk. Handstand walk, 200 feet. Okay? I actually broke down every single double. So I'm gonna give you my times for each down and back. Um, I'm, so there's four down and backs. I'm not gonna give you a time for each, you know, each eight reps. That just takes forever, okay? So two, four, six, and eight, if that makes sense, right? So I've got four down and backs, okay? My first down and back took me 20 seconds. My second down and back took me 28 seconds. Oh, Jacob, getting slow, getting slow, getting sloppy. Third one took 29 seconds. You can do better than that. Come on, dude, one second, you're so slow. Next one, last one, 30 seconds. I'm not proud of that at all. Okay, so um, that's that takes into consideration the whole thing. Again, this is the the time required to complete each down and back. Um, when I timed it, usually a down or one length took me somewhere between eight to nine seconds, right? So you're factoring if I did two in 20 seconds, I'm literally getting across the line, stepping away from the line as much as I need to know that when I kick up, my hands are not across the line and going again, right? So I went down and back pretty quick, the first down and back, and then I obviously took eight seconds of rest somewhere, eight extra seconds here, and then one extra second for this one, and then one extra second for that one, just because obviously it was the last down was pretty tough. Like you were like, come on elbows, hold me up. Don't crash on me and don't give up on me. So it's pretty rough, okay? All right, so uh, I started that at 619, right? So let's go handstand walk. I started my handstand walk at 619, because I didn't write down my cumulative time, I, I kind of forgot. I'm gonna do math on, on the fly here. We started at 619, and we finished, our total finish time was 815, so that's what, two, less than two, 156, if my math is correct, right? Less than, four seconds, less than two minutes? Yeah, 156. It took me one minute, 56 seconds to do a 200 foot handstand walk. Um, and so my finishing time was a 8.15, um, which that's all, don't get me wrong. I'm proud of my 8.15 score, but to be honest, I got down the workout and I was kind of like. Eh, I can do better. That wasn't that hard. Um, to be honest, where would I improve at? Where would I change in order to get a better time? I think I can easily go sub eight. Um, I just need to fix a tweak a couple things and to be honest I'll probably end up doing tomorrow, but to be honest the wonky knee did not feel super great for box step-ups And it didn't feel good for this and so I think I could easily knock off You know 10 seconds on box step-ups pretty simply by just Having a knee that doesn't hate itself and hate me. So can I go sub 8 for sure? I'll probably just do it tomorrow um, when I got done with it, it wasn't like the world was ending and I was dying and I was out of breath and I was gonna implode. So, yeah. So, 8.15 is my final time. Not a bad score. You know, I can do better. So, we're gonna do it tomorrow. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, things I would change, other than the fact of my knee, I would probably keep the lunge the same. I mean, really, you're really capped. Like I mentioned, how long you can do, how fast you can do a lunge. It's not like I can go any faster than that. Box step ups, I can go faster on box step ups. Sure, can't stand push ups. That's pretty much it is what it is. Like, I'm probably not going to go much faster than a 209. Um, you know, that's pretty much two minutes for 50 sure can't stand push ups. And so that's pretty solid. I'm not going to complain with that. Um, really, for the handstand walk, the only thing I could really change up is make sure that I don't lose an extra eight seconds every, you know, for each of them. Maybe if I go 20 seconds for the first down and back, 24, 24, 25, or 26, you know, I've guarded myself eight, nine, 10 seconds there. And that 10 seconds will get me a lot closer to seven minutes than I already am. Or I'm sorry to sub eight minutes than I already am. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoy it. Those are my paces. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go put some ice on my knee, sit in a Norma Tech, and then go out tomorrow and call my shots. I'm gonna go sub eight. It's gonna happen. See you guys, have a good one.